What's up, Leo? What's poppin', Leo? It's your girl D here with the uh, Eighth House readings, the lab. We're here to do your astrology reading for the month of September. I got my notes here in case you see me holding it here. This is gonna be a general read for um, September. We are in Virgo season, all right? So this is, uh, we're getting ready to switch out of summer, going into fall. I love this time of year. I love it, love it, love it. It's super dope. So hopefully you're enjoying it as well. This is gonna be a general read for Ascending Sign Leo, Sun Sign Leo, all right? I mean, if you are not those, you don't have those placements, but you resonate, then you could be dealing with a Sun Sign Leo or a Leo Ascendant who might be going through this, okay? You could be involved in the situation in some way, all right? So uh, don't forget I have a, um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. And I have another channel. The link is in the box below this video. It's called uh, Many Styles of Tarot. So make sure you subscribe to that as well. All right, let's get into it, Leo. Now, you don't have any planets in your first house. Venus left there last month, actually earlier um, in August, I believe, right? I don't know when Venus, it was recent. Venus left on the 4th, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, it's in uh, your second house, which is where Virgo is right now for you. Now, this is about you making money. Now, I don't know if some, some of you make money this way. Some of you, um, okay, I mean, you know, what you do is what you do, but this is how you make money. Some of you sell yourselves for money. Some of you um, target, you know, wealthy individuals for money, right? Um, and you could be in a situation here where that could be coming to the light or you may know somebody who lives this lifestyle and it's coming to the light. Hmm. There could also be uh, a situation here where, um, someone I just feel like somebody has a lack of trust somebody could also move a lot or moved a lot when they were a kid like there's always or there's always something unfortunate going on in their house like you know um, or this person like you know maybe they live in basements or they like live in a, a basement apartment nothing wrong with that no shade but this could be somebody who like to live in a basement apartment or they live in apartment that or a house that's like off this like I don't know what the adjective would be but it would like be something that most people would not find comfortable or might feel uncomfortable with they may have a acquired taste in reference to their housing or their apartments or where they live it could be you or somebody you're dealing with I feel like some of you are, um, you know, watching who you hang out with, who you talk to, um, or somebody could be watching you, watching your every move. It could be, um, I don't know, maybe you are a detective, okay, or you work with the police or there's some type of informant around, but something, or somebody's watching someone. So if you decide and you're feeling like you're being watched and you're switching up your moves, that would be pretty dope for you to do. You may want to switch up. Or it could be the person that you're watching. If you're a detective, this person has switched up their moves. That's why you haven't seen them. Could be an old case to open it back up. Somebody coming back around asking you where you were the night of. All right, or maybe you are a detective doing this. But there's a cold case that could be being brought back up. Somebody's reinvestigating some type of cold case. Yeah, because there was... Um, somebody who I don't know it could be something about somebody being set up by their friends somebody might have got set up by their friends and something may have happened to this person they may have lost their life <clears throat> dealing with some fake ass friends somebody could uh, be careful there could be somebody trying to set you up in some way shape or form somebody's watching you Leo this is what I'm getting somebody's watching you or it could be a Leo who's watching someone Uh, 
Um, somebody could be watching someone's home, watching where someone lives at, or trying to see where somebody lives at. Could be trying to get in unnoticed. Yeah, be careful. Somebody could be watching something up to no good, sneaking in, sneaking in somebody's house or something like that. Be careful. Watch what you're doing. But this person is going to get caught. So, yeah, um, this is somebody who may be in, um, you know, certain connections with people for money or for material gain. You may be dealing with someone like this if this is not you. But I did sense in the beginning somebody was selling themselves or messing around with someone who was married. Or somebody used to deal with someone who was married. Or somebody who will never get married because they just want to run the, they just want to, um, I don't know. I get an energy of somebody who secretly wants to be in a relationship, but they don't want to, you know, let anybody know Like they're trying to hide. I don't know. Like it would be, you know, some men may think it might demasculate them or emasculate them to say that they have feelings for a woman. So I feel like this is this energy about somebody too. Somebody's thinking about someone heavy. Hmm. But um, when it comes to uh, your workplace here, some of you, um, something unexpected may happen at your job, so you may need to be careful, okay? Um, I don't know if somebody got fired or you may experience, you may witness somebody getting fired. Hopefully it's not you getting fired, but something could happen with somebody's money or somebody's stability in reference to their position. Or it could be that maybe you're a boss and it could be that, you know, um, one of your employees, maybe, um, you know, something happened. Something out of the blue happened off guard, caught you off guard or something you don't want to do is going on. It's like I get an energy of it cost to be the boss type of thing. Like you may have to work some extra shifts or your boss may have to work some extra shifts. They don't want to work. Hopefully you don't, you know, that's not you, but that could be the case for some of you. Some of you knew something was wrong, but you did it anyway. Or you, um... You were dealing with someone who knew something was wrong, but they did it anyway. Or you tried to warn somebody. Maybe you saw something coming and you tried to warn someone. Or you, you just, you know, took a risk and you knew you shouldn't have. Something like that. It's like, yo, I feel like somebody's kicking themselves in the ass. Like, yo, I knew I shouldn't have trusted. I see that. I see somebody's changing up their habits, like they're changing up their um, their movements, like what they normally do every day, and switching it up. Uh, it could be somebody going back to school. Somebody could be getting a new job. Somebody could be working with the government or could be um, deciding to retire from a government uh, type of job. Somebody, it could be a retired cop, somebody retiring from uh, the police department. Or maybe you know somebody who is a, a retired police officer, military person. Maybe somebody's on active duty right now or they're about to come home. Or they could be coming home in October. If it's not you, it could be them or somebody you know. So, yeah. Yeah, I feel like somebody finds out that they're coming home in October. Uh, 
or they went away until October. They're coming back in October. That's what I get. Um, some of you could be having dreams about uh, your past life. But I also feel like there could be a situation going on where somebody's doing something illegal. Somebody could be, like I said, I felt the energy of either you being watched or somebody watching you. Somebody could be trying to, you know, put you in a, a position where they're trying to benefit from you in some way, shape, or form. Could be money. But I, I just don't like the energy. But yeah, this is somebody who, um, they think they're above the law. This is somebody who's broken a law before. They could have murdered, actually. This is somebody who could have murdered somebody. Anyway, this could be something you're watching on TV. I don't know. I'm just picking this up and telling you what I'm getting. But this is somebody who, uh, yeah, they don't, you got to be careful with who you hang out with. It could be somebody who, like I said, they could be out to get you in some way, shape, or form. This And this is for people who are in an environment where they're dealing with this type of activity. It don't mean that you are. Like I said, you could be watching a show where this is going down. And I could just be picking up that energy. <laughs> but uh, that's something I'm picking up. But as far as um, some people, there's, there's somebody who's investing in prisons. Somebody um, who invests in prisons. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Somebody may have some holdings in prison that they're trying to sell or shares. But I'm getting the swapping of um, half people having to pay uh, capital gains tax for, you know, selling their shares. And somebody may not have uh, been honest about that. So that might be coming to the light. Hmm. It could be a um somebody filming a movie in your area for some of you. Or the movie that they was filming in your area last year is now coming out. It might be in the theaters. I feel like some of you are in a situation here. I don't know what kind of um, sex magic is going on here with some of y'all. But I sense that that could be going on with some of y'all. You could have some type of... Uh, you may realize that you're dealing with... Some of you may not realize that you're dealing with a man of the night or a woman of the night. But some of you are hiding that from someone. That might be what you do. <clears throat> and you may be keeping that from people. They don't know that about you. That you or you'll pay for sex. One or the other. Some of you will pay for it, or you're looking, you're attracted to someone, or someone's attracted to you, and they could be wanting to proposition you. Somebody might be getting <clears throat> a raise or promotion. It may come out of the blue. You may get an opportunity, a second chance at an opportunity that maybe you didn't have before. <clears throat> I don't know what's on my throat, but yeah, somebody could be uh, getting an opportunity they never had before. I feel like somebody's secret get exposed too. Hmm. Somebody's secret get exposed in reference to how they make money. There's an artist here, somebody who paints, but there's some type of underground market going on uh, that you don't know nothing about. I feel like you, you know, being introduced to um, an environment here that you have to be very careful about. For some of you, you like rubbing shoulders with people with a lot of money, 
and people who are very connected, well connected. And so you could be, um, I feel like if you pry and don't pry, mind your business. Uh, but for some of you, this is a, a lot to do with the relationships that you're in or the people that you're dealing with, whether it's business partners, um, whether it's adversaries at work, okay, or, or people that you're in an organization with. Um, I feel like maybe you're questioning, you know, these connections and, and what's been going on, trying to figure out who you can trust. Um, so that's some things I'm seeing here. Yeah, but it comes out, you, you find out who a traitor is, you find that out, or um, you're you're the one who's watching someone, or someone's watching you, something like that. Somebody's watching you, and it's somebody that you know, because um, it could be somebody you work with, so but just be careful with that. Some of y'all might work with a weirdo who... Uh, <laughs> It's not funny, but uh, I don't know what's up with this person at your job. Or maybe this is you, somebody at your job. I don't know what you're doing. But somebody might feel that you're weird at the job. So I don't know what you're doing or how you acting. Or you may deal with someone that you feel is where you get weird vibes from them. Like sexual vibes. Like this person, you know, is just a little off in whatever way somebody may say that about you at the job you better be careful somebody i don't know somebody dealing with um if they work in the public and you know somebody may have accused you of of you know some inappropriate activity like say you work in hospitality where you're constantly dealing with people and helping people uh some people may say that you uh Oh my God, somebody is soliciting themselves. Somebody work in hospitality and secretly solicits themselves to, to those. So this is what somebody does. I knew it was an energy of somebody, you know, and I, hey, that's what you do, that's what you do. I'm not knocking it, but I was picking that energy up. That's why I would say somebody sells, sells pleasure for a living. This person is not interested in, in relationships or not interested in traditional relationships. They can't be because of what they do for a living. But um, if there was some type of, um, I don't know, I feel like somebody's not going to have to pay some taxes on their investments. There's some investments that, or somebody may have taken out some money but they were, there's some type of loophole where you won't have to pay for it. You won't have to pay a tax on it. Like there's a capital gains tax of some sort that you get some type of discount on. Or you were able to not pay it. Or you didn't pay it and you should have. And now you have to pay that out. But uh, these are some of the things I'm getting for Leo. Make sure you check the last reading that I did for August to see if anything resonates with you. Because it may not resonate with you right now, but... It may resonate towards the end of the month. Now, this doesn't have to be you that these things are going on with, and they don't have to all be going on with one person. Like, I was just going from each house, picking up what I was picking up. Um, but I definitely feel like somebody could be being watched or investigated. Okay? I definitely see that. Somebody's lifestyle, somebody's watch trying to figure out where somebody may live. or So somebody could be ending up moving. Somebody could be watching somebody's crib. I said that though, right? Yeah, I, I feel that energy strongly. This is somebody who um, is trying to control. This is like a control freak. Saturn in retrograde with Aquarius. Wait, this is a very controlling energy. I don't like it. Yeah, somebody may realize it. This somebody is a little, you know excessive like i said somebody could be very aggressive around you or this could be you leo whoever if this is a leo doing this you should slow your roll because uh 
people at your job are, are, are talking about you um, or, you know, your record is being pulled at your job, something like that, especially if you're somebody who gets down like this or there could be somebody reporting you. Or like I said, this could be somebody soliciting them. So I'm not going to keep repeating it. That's what I got for you, <laughs> Cancer. This is your girl, D. If you need a personal, feel free to reach out. My information is in the box below. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to subscribe to Mini Styles. I love you guys. And uh, I'll see you in later on in a month. Later.